Yo, yo, what is up, my homies? Um, look how dirty papers get in the garage. That's ridiculous. All right, so, um, ooh, this is fun. Did I tell you about this yet? Glow in the dark uh, paint. Me and Ellie Belly and Abram James are having a little fun tonight. After they get home from school, we're gonna do glow in the dark. We're gonna paint telescope. And, I don't know, we're gonna have fun. Anyways, uh, this, more tractor parts. Look at this. Also, the company that I'm using for these tractor parts is called Yesterday's Tractor Co. And I just called them, I just wanna give them a shout out. They're awesome, Just they're just a good company because their um, website is really well organized and I love it and they've got everything for these old Ford tractors. Love it, super cool. Just called, I was put on hold, immediately put on hold, right? Super angry, no, nope. took about I'd say two minutes, I was caller number two. It told me I was caller number two. It then told me I was caller number one. It just, it's fine. I had a little bit of hold time, not a big deal. Dude answered the phone, super cool, super chill, super informative, um, helped me out really fast with what I need. They messed up. What they messed up was they left out a set of rings in the, the overhaul kit for the engine. So I called them, I said, hey bro, Missing a piece. And I also have a question about um, head gaskets. He answered that question and then he said, what are you missing? I said this, he goes, cool, I'm gonna get on them and tell them to send you out a new part and anything else. I said, no, and he said, cool, have a nice day. He sent it out. That's what you're supposed to do, good job. Thank you, yesterday's Chapter Co. Taking care of your customer. Um, so thank you, more parts are on the way. Um, man, we're ordering so many more parts too. Uh, let's go look at that list and I'll tell you what we're ordering. Yep. So as y'all know, we got like most of the parts ordered already. Oh, I meant to take this out there and throw it out in the garage because the wife is going to look at that on the kitchen table and go, Why is that a grease piece of paper on the kitchen table? She talks just like that. All right. Um, order. Valve cover bolt. The one I broke off. Still haven't gotten that out of the engine yet. <sighs> Ring gear. The gear on the clutch has a, or on the flywheel has a tooth missing. And actually it's not missing, I found it. It was in that area, um, but it broke a tooth off. Probably when that, um, that starter exploded, the starter bindix or the starter drive exploded. I bet that's when that tooth sheared off. I bet parts bound up and cracked that tooth off. And I thought about running it as is, guys. It's one tooth. It's, I've been running it like that actually. After we replaced the starter, I didn't realize that the tooth was broken off. Um, cause it's one. So if you didn't look all the way around at all the teeth, it's easy to overlook one broken off tooth, especially in a dark area that is very hard to even get into. Um, so anyways, uh, ring gear, need a new one of those. Trans input shaft seal gasket. Okay. So they said while in there, replace your input shaft gasket on the transmission. I'm going to do that. Um, trans hydro fluid. Oh yeah. I just need hydraulic fluid and filter. If there is one, I don't, I put a question mark cause I don't know if there is one spray on degreaser. I want to degrease the whole tractor again. Uh, steering joint axle. So in the front, there's this little weird pivoty axle joint thing and mine seems wobbly. So I want to just replace it. I think it's worn out. Uh, steering rebuild kit. So all of the linkages on the steering seem worn out and I just, need to research and see if you replace the joints or the whole like arms or what. I don't want to put too much money in the steering because it works very well and it's a tractor. Like it doesn't have to go 80 miles an hour true down the highway. It needs to go 20 at the most in a field. Yeah, not 20. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, steering rebuild kit, maybe on a lug nuts. I'm just gonna get a whole new set of lug nuts. Um, mine are all, dude, mine might be original. They're so worn out. They're like, they were barely holding the wheels on. It was awful. The lugs look good. The nuts are soft metal and sh just sheared. All right, uh, lifters. I don't know if we need to replace the lifters or not, and I can't find any information on it. So I'm gonna buy a new set of lifters and replace them. That's the right thing to do. Uh, belt. Right size belt for once! Yes! Squeaky Susie would be proud. That's what she needed to not squeak is a right size belt. But she wouldn't be Squeaky Susie if she didn't squeak, right? That's why I smoke in Sally. I shouldn't have rebuilt her. And paint, guys. It's gonna be so cool. I'm doing rattle can, tractor paint, and you think, ooh, don't do that unless you've done it. And then you're like, yeah, tractor paint is awesome in rattle cans. It comes out looking great. You will see. 
All right, that's all the parts we got. Y'all don't owe me any money at all. Y'all have already paid so much. Y'all did an awesome job covering this way ahead of time. And then I ordered parts. The wife was happy. I'm happy. Like, y'all are happy. This is so cool, guys. This is the funnest project I've ever done on our channel because it's what I want to do, but also y'all are having fun with me doing it. And it's just like, it's all of us partying together. It's cool. All right, I'm gonna get the laptop, get these parts ordered. I'm gonna throw this in the garage. Battery, plug in the phone. Shoes off the dining room table. Idiot. Wife's gonna see this video and freak out. I love y'all. I'll see you on the next babble. Bye.